How do you sort out the so-called jargon from real-world practices that work? Do the members of your organization find some business or technology advice utterly confusing? Welcome to Real Talk with Sam Holzman. In this program, we set the record straight and in terms that business people and technology people can understand. Now, here is your host, Sam Holzman. Welcome to this edition of Real Talk. I'm Sam Holzman. Thanks for joining me. And uh, today's topic is setting up your individual artificial intelligence safe sandbox. Well, what does that mean? Uh, what we have learned, and uh, I don't know what your experiences are, or your organization's experiences are, is when it comes to the world of artificial intelligence right now and all of the technology issues that are out there, cybersecurity, cyber, security, cyber uh, issues, intellectual property theft, all of these other things, we've decided that what we need to do is to recognize that virtually nothing, nothing right now is really, really, really secure and safe. And so I went back to some of the work that we've done with uh, some high secure organizations and recognized that what right now what we need to do is to spend, you ready for this? $104 plus tax plus $40 a month to build a very safe, very safe sandbox for artificial intelligence. Now, what do I mean by that? So what we did was we went out and uh, purchased for $104 U.S., a uh, Dell desktop computer, I'm going to tell you the brand, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, DVD, 19-inch LCD screen, wireless keyboard and mouse, $104. Why? Because the next thing we're going to do is to uh, connect that to a different Internet service provider. And uh, that's costing us $40 a month. It's completely separating our production world completely. Different computers, different Internet service provider, absolutely isolating the second computer from our production activities. And we're calling that our artificial intelligence sandbox. So for $104 plus tax <laughs> for the hardware and approximately $40 a month for a 300 uh, meg relatively high speed internet connection, we feel extremely secure. Of course, on top of that, all of the sign-ins we're going to do and all of the interactions we're going to do with the AI engine will have zero identifiable information from our production environment, you know, as far as sign-ins and IDs and all these other things. And what I'm suggesting to all of you, whether you're in a massive organization or just yourself, is to think about that massively, massively small investment for the safety that you're going to get in exploring this new world we're in. Plus, to be, again, pretty honest, I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing and even have a chance of getting into my personal information, company information, client information, and all these things that are going out there. There's a phrase that people actually attribute to uh, President Ronald Reagan, but actually he was taught uh, by somebody else, uh, Suzanne uh, Massey, um, a scholar in Russian history, and the phrase is trust but verify. Sounds kind of strange, doesn't it? You trust but verify? Well, of course. You're making the assumption that something's trustworthy, but you have to verify it. And in this world of AI and Internet and all these other things that are going on, that is extremely difficult, if not impossible right now, to do. So how do you address it? Well, we set up a second environment. And that's because just because it looks friendly, just because it looks friendly, doesn't mean it is. 
you got to watch out for mistakes. Spelling that just your eye just glances over these types of things. Okay. And of course, with things that are hidden behind graphics and chat bots, you have to hover over some of these, these, uh, you know, things that look very safe and find out that there's actually some neck, you know, things out there that are, are could cause you harm. So protection first. Can you not afford to spend that little about amount of money? Think about it. Think about the consequences of getting hacked there. So just a bit of friendly advice from a practitioner. Yes, you're talking to a practitioner. The EACOE and the BACOE are practicing firms. You're speaking to a practitioner, not just only someone that has a very strong academic background, but somebody does this every day. And until things get better in technology, and it's going to take some time, let's be safe rather than sorry. So in summary, can you afford not to spend about $100 and a few bucks a month to give you a safe playground? I hope this makes sense. Thanks for listening. Thank you for tuning in to Real Talk. Be sure to join your host, Sam Holzman, again for another edition of our program. We'll have more real topics of discussion then.